David Jordan is the private advisor to CEOs, specialising in creating results through strategic innovation. Welcome to this week's segment. One of the things we like about innovation is the ability to drive change in an organisation. Um, when you can take an organisation, turn it around, that it grows profitability, but it employs people, um, and it delivers services to customers, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great deal of satisfaction from that sort of environment. Um, we've gone into organisations that were, were struggling to survive, um, had CEOs sort of been threatened that the, the results are the same as next year, you write yourself a check and go. And, and be able to go in there and actually look at what the problems are, come up with creative solutions to solving those problems, and actually see a turnaround in results in 12 months is, is something that's, that, that's very self-satisfying. So that's, that's sort of the thing. And it's also, I guess, is looking at new ideas, always creating new strategies and testing the boundaries of what we can do. It's, they're all very creative. It's, you know, it's very enjoyable. It's, it's new ideas. There's always something different. So there's probably a lot of things there that really we find enjoyable about innovation. The, the type of CEO that, that, that can take advantage of the CEO innovation blueprint is, is probably a CEO recognises that they have a problem and, and a, a problem recognises a problem half solved. Uh, we often get people saying as well, you know, we've done, we're implemented innovation very well. And when we sort of dig into it and saying, well, you, know, you might have implemented the technology, but have you got the results? Um, is it driving profit? Is it driving growth? And, and when CEOs recognise that we've got a problem, you know, seven years of flat growth, the profits sort of really only coming in from cost cutting, we, we're having trouble defending ourselves against a digital disruptor, there's new markets, um, challenges, etc. When they recognise that they've got a problem, then they're open to ideas and opportunities and, and this book really helps them to think differently about ways of tackling those problems. So the CEO Innovation Blueprint book highlights uh, a major issue in organisation in that communication stops innovation. There's, there's a number of factors behind it and, and a lot of it is to do with the way we assess people that come to us with ideas. Uh, in the past, in the status quo sort of way we deal with experts is somebody that deals with something that's been done in the past and are very qualified and experienced in that knowledge and we measure them to be an expert in that field. Somebody that's coming up with a new idea is not an expert because you can't be an expert in a new idea. It hasn't been around for long enough. So how do we assess that they are qualified to talk to that idea? And it's a real big challenge. So when you look at organisations, uh, it's amazing that people are on factory lines or, or working in areas that don't have skills and knowledge can come up with some of the, the greatest ideas for the business. But because they're not qualified or seen as experts, we sometimes don't listen to them. So it's really a difficult challenge is for somebody who's got an expertise in the field to actually take a deep breath and stop and listen to somebody who's not an expert in the field actually come up with some ideas that could give them a different perspective on the situation or come up with some fresh ideas that could actually totally revolutionise how you could deal with that process. And when you see organisations that have adopted crowdsourced idea generation where they're actually looking at getting ideas from completely different industries just to try and force a different perspective on the problem to find completely new solutions. One of the things with innovation is it's about risk. Um, it's not necessarily that it's riskier, but it's actually doing something that people are uncomfortable with because it's something different and therefore they perceive that there's a risk around it. One of the hard parts, if we go back to the idea, uh, the concept we talked about beforehand about exploiters and explorers. Explorers are people that are more prepared to take risk, they're more prepared to step beyond the boundaries. Where exploiters are more comfortable in dealing with what they already know. 
So you have a problem where you might have an executive who has an exploiter personality being told by an explorer personality, what about doing this? And there is a communication gap about risk. The, the exploiter personality is going to be immediately uncomfortable with the concept of this is something different and there's a risk and they feel that the explorer personality hasn't really considered the risk. At the same time as the explorer personality is sort of view of you old fuddy-duddy, you're out of date, you, you know, you don't move with the times because you're not prepared to look at new ideas. And it's actually an issue that probably requires a bit of both changing their ways. If explorer personalities need to recognise that people are concerned about risk, they have to go back to stakeholders and say, look, you know, we're not risking your, your investment unnecessarily. So as an explorer, putting an idea forward requires that you've actually stopped and thought about the risks. But it's also for the exploiter personality to not immediately react to a new idea and say, oh, that's risky, to, to actually first consider, is it as risky as we thought? And it's a very interesting sort of scenario at the moment that in an environment that we've become very risk adverse after the global financial crisis is that we're losing lots of opportunities because we just refuse to actually even start thinking about the risk. And we shouldn't be risk adverse, but actually be focused on managing risk. To get your copy of David Jordan's book, The CEO Innovation Blueprint, go to his website, the CEO Blueprint dot com dot au